All right, it says we're live. Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai ba Hashem, Makakudash.
he's doing in the earth, man. Okay? All right? And so that's why more judgment is coming. That's going to culminate in the destruction of Babylon the Great, the deliverance of the elect, World War III, and the Hawashai coming back and establishing, establishing his kingdom. That's right. Okay? Upon the earth, man. And all the, all the nations will know of the Hawashai and Hawashai. Okay? 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 Earth, all, all the nations will know. Isaiah 45 and verse 7. It says, I form the light. Speak of the Heavenly Father. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. I want to fuck this up. Yeah, bro. It's, at the end of the day, it's the most high, man. It's, it's a balanced power. All right? You deal with just weights. Okay? You form the light and create darkness, man. All right? It speaks about, it says that, it says, and create evil. Evil is the word, evil is the compound word. When you break it down, it means bad time. Okay, right. ill meaning bad, all right? Evil meaning time, man. Okay? So it's the Lord who's bringing these things, man. All right? If there be evil in the city, the Lord is the one who brought it there, man. Okay? Because at the end of the day, he's in control of all things. All right? And one more quick one. This is uh, the book of Ezekiel. Because... These people, are, they're going to be looking for peace, but they ain't going to be nothing. Ezekiel chapter uh, 7 and verse uh, 25, it says, Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. So at the end of the day, we know the great wind is coming, man. Okay, that, that great wind, that, that nuclear destruction that's going to be created by the ICBM missiles, man. When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world, man, the ends of the earth, you know? So that's the time that we had to go, World War III. That got to come to pass, right? World War I came to pass. It was uh, prophesied in the scriptures. World War II came to pass. That was uh, prophesied in the scriptures. What do you think about World War III? What do you think? When the scriptures say, son, if they don't believe, that's not, that's not going to make the, 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 the effect, the most high work of non effect, right? You know? Got it. I got some. Let's just show you the balance because you mentioned that the Lord is about balance, all right? Not only does he judge the wicked, all right, he also delivers the righteous. So this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, and I'm going to start at 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. That wickedness was there, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. 17, I said in my heart, the Most High Power Yahweh shall judge the righteous and the wicked. For there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. Just to show you the, the, uh, the balance of our Heavenly Father, all right? Not only does he bring, okay, bad times, evil to the wicked, all right? But he also brings good times and, and, and just to the righteous. And the righteous is the elect of the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. You know, Job said that, uh, uh, Real quick to follow uh, the brother Sabah. It's Proverbs 11 and verse 1. It says, A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. That's right, man. So the Lord is about just balance and weight, man. All right, all this evil that's taking place in the earth, man. All right, what is the Lord going to do about it? Okay, because the evil will just manifest. Okay, all right, it just don't happen outside of human involvement. All right, you are all part of it, man. That's right. Okay, all right, idolatry. Who's the one that's making the idols, people? Yep. yep. Who's the one that's worshiping the people? Who's the one that's doing the murder and the violence and the wickedness and the lies and the corruption and the deceit? People. People. All right, the, the robbery, the rape, the murder, the pedophilia, the homosexuality, the adultery, the whoredom. The pride, the rebellion, it's all people, man. 
So he has to bring the judgment, the evil, <laughs> vengeance, judgment upon the people, man. That's right. He got to do it, okay, to set things back in balance, man. So you understand the judgment and the discipline of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, man. That's right. This is what happens when you break his instructions. This is what happens when you don't receive his instructions. This is what happens when you don't follow the rules, man. That's right. Okay? He's setting the record straight, man. That's what Yahweh Shemuel Shai is doing and getting ready to do on a global scale is to set the record straight, man. Okay, because you got a lot of people who talk madness and blasphemy against the God of the Bible, man. They're getting ready to figure out, man. Okay, he's actually going to send his son, all right, which is the express, ex uh, um, um, express image of his glory, okay, all right, in the cherries, all right, to execute the judgment of the Father upon the earth, man. Right? And you're going to learn some respect. You're going to learn the fear of the Lord, man. Okay? What's up, brother? I got that. I got that Jew. This is a Jew chapter 1 in verse 14. It says, And Enoch also, the seventh of Adam, prophesied of these, of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his saints. To our Lord Yahweh, who the Lord even called Jesus Christ, he's coming back with the holy angels, man. Right, right. To execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against them. So he's going to make the record straight, man. These Edomites, these so-called white people that's ruling the world and wicked, the Lord's about to break them down, man. Right. Wicked Jays that's, that's born in this the ways of America, the ways of this world, the Lord's going to judge you too, man. Right. Yeah. The idols, the Lord's going to judge you too, man. Yeah. All right, because people be acting like, like, people be acting like they don't talk shit about the most high. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? All the time. Y'all talk so much shit about the Most High all the time. Y'all speak against his judgments all the time, but then something bad happens. Okay, the Lord brings some judgment upon your ass and you acting like you're the victim. Mm -hmm. How the fuck are you the victim? <laughs> mm -hmm. People always got some, some bullshit to say about the Most High, man. Okay? And they think that he's just gonna, just gonna you know, let you skate. Yep. You breathe in his air. You drinking his water. That's right. Okay? The blood in your veins, he the one who gave that to you. The breath in your lungs, he gave that to you. He created you. Okay? He gave you eyes to see. He, the sun, moon, the stars, all creation is a, is a result of his power. But you gonna sit here and talk shit about him? No, nah, man. The Lord gotta set the record straight. And this time he gonna do it by fire. That's right. This time he gonna do it violently, man. Okay? Okay? Um, <clears throat> so, uh, Job chapter 2 in verse um, uh, I saw that 9 but point is a 10 it says then said his wife unto him does thou still retain thine integrity curse the most high and done this is what Job was catching hell because the Lord, the Lord had Satan you know, to, uh, to, to touch you to, to try to tear me and his, and his woman told him hey curse the Lord and die and this is what Job told him man verse 10 says but he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. That's right. But shall we receive good of the hand of the Most High? And shall not receive evil? And in all this did not Job sin with his lips, man. So it shows a balance. Job understood that. All right, these people, they're going to understand it. And you know by Shemal Shai is the true power, man. Right, right, right. right. Here it is, the Lord. The Lord is doing all this, you know, he's doing all these great things. Even the people who don't believe in him, he makes the, the, the rain to fall upon the evil and the good. And then y'all talking shit about him. And then when you get slapped up by God, <laughs> all right, when he come when he come for your words, it's his fault. It, it was no praise at all when he was doing good. So he judged you, and then now it's his fault that you get judged. That's crazy, man. Okay, but the Lord's gonna bring all that shit to an end, man. Right. When the missiles get the firing and blowing Babylon off the fucking map, okay, when, when all these troops get gathered together in the Valley of Jehoshaphat and Yahushua comes down with the chariots and vaporizes all you motherfuckers, man, y'all yeah, gonna learn, man. Okay? All right, when he when he sends the angels uh, and, and the elect off the chariots and start slapping chains on you motherfuckers, y'all gonna fucking learn, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna learn, man. Uh, quick precept, this is the book of Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 36. It says, but he that sinned against me, the heavenly father, wrongeth his own soul. And all they that hate me love death 
Right, okay? So those that sin against the Lord, they wrong their own soul, man. Okay? They said they said basically they doing evil unto themselves, man. All right, because you know with a, with a terrible power, he's merciful, but you better watch out. Okay? All right? And since you love death, by, by departing from the Lord, you show that you love death, the Lord's going to give you over that, man. All right? Since you love it so much, I'm going to show you the results of your folly, man. Okay? Everybody big and bad until the Lord pull up and start dropping, dropping hot fire. Right. <laughs> I got a precept yeah. just to land back what Bishop Blair said about uh, the Lord is terrible, right? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 21. Thou shalt not be affrighted at them, all right? It's talking about the heathens, all right? We're not supposed to be scared of these heathens, by the way, all right? We're supposed to fear the Lord. That's it, and that's it only. For the Lord thy power, Yahweh, is among you, a mighty power and terrible, okay? Matthew chapter 12 and verse 36 it says but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be forgiven so every idle word these people they're talking this is the most high they're talking this is the bible right? and they, uh, they're going out the ways of Esau you know lying, lying on the Lord saying he loved everybody you don't have to get account of that day man alright righteous they speak the truth hey you're gonna receive salvation if you're not you're gonna be condemned by every word you say man you know? yep. Yep. just like it's like just like it's all the psalms chapter 9 verse 16 it says the lord is known by the judgment which he executed the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands hey salah in 17 it says the wicked shall be turned into hell all the nations that forget God. Every day, God is known by the judgments which He executes, man. And at the end of the day, it's Him that's doing it, man. He's doing it. The scripture tells you that there will be spirits created for vengeance. Right. The Lord don't have to come off His throne to touch you. You know? He can tap you up and tap you up. Right. And here it is. We're coming out of the Bible. We're not just reading this. Right? We're not just reading this out of our own personal diary. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Out the Amawan Ibad diary, chapter 5, verse 6. <laughs> no. <laughs> we come coming straight, straight out the scriptures. Right, right. right. And there's people that say they believe in God. They say they believe in the Bible. They go to church every day of the week. They dress up for Easter. They, none of these verses we brought out, they don't. They don't know not one of them verses, but they know God so much. They got a personal relationship with God, but they don't know none of his words. They gloss over them because they're trying to hear these words. They, they gloss them. They either gloss over them or they just don't even know. Yeah, they don't know. They just straight up don't know. Right. But but apparently God loves everybody. Then you bring out scriptures like this to show them the justice of the Lord, right. and then they rebel. Yeah. But I thought you had a personal relationship with God. I thought you said you believed in the Bible. I thought you said you loved the Word of God. Here's the Word of God talking, and then you got a problem with it. That goes to show you, man, that the, the people of this world do not have... Uh, they do not have a heart that is after the Lord, man. They're going after their own will. That's why the Lord has to come and shake this shit up, man. That's why the judgments have to be brought forth, man. All right? Because the Lord got to, basically what the Lord is doing with these, with the judgments that he's bringing forth is confounding all the idols and philosophies of the world, man. Okay? Because that whole God love everybody is basically based off the idolatry of his priesthood. Okay? So since he loves his, so all right, since you say he loves everybody, I'm bring this famine on y'all ass, okay? That's gonna kill millions of people. And then you gotta explain why your God, who you say love everybody, did that, okay? All you Egyptologists motherfuckers saying that the Bible plagiarized from Egypt. Well, okay, all these judgments taking place on the earth. What the hell do the Egyptian idols have to say about that? The Egyptian idols ain't prophesying about famine and the mark of the beast and the beast system and World War III and why we came into slavery and why Esau is in power, okay? The Egyptian idols can't even tell you why Egypt fell, man. <laughs> That's right. The fuck? The Egyptian idols can't even tell you how Egypt fell. Yeah. But you go into the Bible and you read in different parts of the history where, okay, Egypt, the Lord delivers out of Egypt, the Lord played Egypt, Egypt ain't never been the same, right? All right, the, the, the Assyrians came into power, the Babylonians came into power, kicked Jesus' ass again. 
the Persians came into power, took over Egypt. The Greeks came into power, took over Egypt. Rome came into power, took over Egypt. Then Rome fell, and then Egypt was just left to whoever wanted it next. The Bible talks about that. But <laughs> the fucking, my aunt ain't saying that shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The oracles of, of uh, Abu Murad ain't tell you none of that shit. <laughs> so go, again, going back to the point, all these ideas and philosophies of the world are being confounded by the judgments of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Hashem. All right, because he's showing himself to be the true power that's in control. Of that. Okay. This is the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 48 and verse three it says, "I have declared the former things from the beginning, yep. and they went forth out of my mouth." And I showed out of mock to the Lord. So like it. The Lord said, I have declared the former things from the beginning. Yeah. I don't know who said it came out of my mouth. Yeah. My mouth. It ain't come out of nobody else's mouth. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. It says uh Isaiah 48 and 3 says, I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth, and I showed them, I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. Right, so Lord boasted of himself. I did it, I said it, I said what I said. I'm the one in control, man. Right, that's right. Okay? So when we see wars and pestilences and famines and earthquakes and hurricanes and volcanic eruptions and diseases and, and, and turmoil in the earth of the people, we know that that's what? The judgment of Yahweh Shabbat 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 because it's in his word. Right. We let us know this is going to happen, man. If anything, you're supposed to be seeing these things happening and you're supposed to give more praise to the Lord, man. Yeah. You're supposed to believe in the Most High more, man. Yeah. You're supposed to see the wickedness that's happening in the earth. And the wickedness that we've had to endure on an individual level and be like, okay, what does the Lord have to say about this? And what's the end result of it all? Does the Lord have something better promised? And then you read the scriptures and the Lord say, this is what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. This is the evil that I'm going to bring. I'm going to bring that evil. Okay? And then at the end, I'm going to bring a righteous kingdom. Yeah. If you repent and you endure and you believe in me and you be obedient, I'm going to give you that kingdom. That's supposed to be the result, man. Because we all here, because of our fuck up, man. We're the ones who fucked up, man. That's right. So now we got to deal with this shit on the earth, man, because the Lord gave us the earth to be beautiful in a paradise, but because we want to do our own shit, now we got to get slapped the fuck up. So now we got to deal with it. Yep. Okay? That's how you know it ain't no such thing as hell, man. Because yeah. even the Lord told Adam, look, your days are on the earth. I'm going to cut that shit short. You're going to die. Okay? All right? And then your, your wife, she gonna, the, 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 her conception labor is going to hurt more. Yeah. And then by the sweat of your brow, you're going to have to work and till the land all the days of your life till you fucking die. Okay? Your life on earth is going to be hard, man. Yeah. And it's getting harder. Why? Because of the wickedness of this world, man. And the rulers are waxing more and more wicked. Man. Yeah. So the Lord got to bring more and more judgments, man. Okay? That's what it is. Isaiah 48 and verse... Four says, because I know that thou art obstinate, and thy neck is as, is as iron sinew. Right, as iron sinew, man. I knew that you was obstinate, and your neck is as iron sinew. Okay? And you can't tell me that's not Jake, man. Hard-headed. Don't fucking listen, man. And we done seen it many times. Can't nobody tell us shit. We done seen y'all come up to the camp and scoff. A, mil a million different ways to scoff. Which is basically a million different ways to get yourself put to death by not watching all the time. Okay? Okay? The Lord already knew. So he said, all right, I'm going to say this from the beginning because I already know the majority of you niggas ain't going to listen. All right? So I'm just going to say it from the beginning so when it comes to pass, you just got to do it. <laughs> Baruch chapter 2, verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff that people, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. So, our people is a, is a rebellious people, man. A, a, a stiff hearted set of people, man. Mm -hmm. That's why we in the conditions of nation that we in right now. We can say that we were doing it, yet this day we are in our captivity, and uh, scattered us for a, 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 a curse. Uh, reproach, you know, yeah, yeah. we're made subject to payments now according to all the iniquity of our fathers. Yet this day, man, that's why we're in the conditions that we are, because we transgress against the Lord, you know, and he, 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 he put nations, he rise up nations over us, man, you know, to punish us, mm -hmm. right, which is good that our people are afflicted, man, yeah. it's a good thing, man, because when the Lord gave us everything, we went to go do some other shit, right, yep, okay, it's good that, it's good that Jake is on the bottom, and we fucked up, and we poor, 
Because when the Lord gave you riches, you wouldn't go take those riches and worship idols, man. Right. So now you got to suffer. Right. Yep. Go ahead, bro. Yep. It's uh, Isaiah chapter 48. In verse 4, it says, Because I knew that thou art abstinent. And I obstinate. 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 Yeah. Hard headed. You don't listen. Okay? You walk around, can't nobody tell you shit. You tell a nigga God said don't eat pork, he gonna give you every excuse yeah. in the fucking book. Yep. Then they're going to say, I love the Lord. I love, I the, love Lord. the Lord, yep. Yep. I pray over the food. Bro, you give them the breakdown and everything, they're going to find a million of excuses. Yeah. Ecclesiastes 32 and verse 17. A sinful man will not be reproved, but find it an excuse according to his will. That's our people. So, yeah. <laughs> He's he going to come up with an excuse because he want to eat pork. Right. You want to continue in adultery, so he's going to make up an excuse. He yeah. want to adhere to the words of the Lord. Yep. He's a sinful man. Yes, yep. Yeah. Uh, you, you got more on that, Z? Because uh, I got some. Yeah, you got it. All right, uh, come. Uh, book of Zechariah, chapter 7, verse 11. But they refused to hearken. Right, so it says they refused to hearken. So it means that you was trying to tell them, and then they was like, no, I don't want to hear that. It's not that they didn't hear it. They don't say that they did, they, they don't say that they did, never heard it. Mm -hmm. They said they refused to hear it. Mm -hmm. So that was a conscious decision they made not to listen to God. Yep. And that's why our people are in a are in the chapter condition they are in right now, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, you said in uh, Proverbs the first chapter, they would not all my reproof. Yeah, no, you know? nope. Right. Because who's doing the reproofing? The prophets. Right. And they don't want to hear the prophets. All right. They, they hated him that rebuked him again. Yep. Mm hmm. Zechariah chapter 7 verse 11 But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear 12 yea they made their hearts as an adamant stone lest they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophets and that's the thing we're just bringing out what the the prophets hold Okay, have wrote in, in the Bible, all right? Because they were moved by the Holy Spirit that came from the Heavenly Father. Right. That's all we're doing. We're not making anything up. We're coming straight out of scriptures. And you refuse to hark. That's how you know you, you, you're you totally against the, all right, the ways of the Lord. That alone, you don't want to hear the prophets, okay? Even though the prophets are here, are set up to save your life. That's why the Lord has it out here, to warn you of what's to come. So you get right. Mm. Therefore, came a great wrath on the, from the Lord of hosts. Right. And the Lord's been jacking us up, man. As the beloved bitch has been going in. Every captivity we've been in, the Lord been jacking us up. Okay? Even in the, in the worst captivity, Babylon the Great. All right? We're catching hell every day, man. All right? Afflicted in the body. Okay? Money problems. Okay? All right? And you got it. You're fighting. And you're fighting demon Satan. And he's trying to plague your mind. You know. You. This is all out. Okay. Uh, hell, man. This is hell. That's why you got to stay to these scriptures, man, and be rooted in. And part of saying the scriptures, you start. You have to repent. So the Lord will sup with you, man. Um. Thirteen. Therefore, it has come to pass that as he cried and they would not hear. So they cried, and I will not hear, saith the Lord of hosts. So when the Lord brings in Jacob's trouble, which, hey, it's coming, man. All right? The Lord's not going to hear you when you finally start to cry to him for your suffering. He's going to allow you to suffer, and he's going to ignore you, man, just like you've been ignoring him. All right? That's why it's important to repent, man. That's why it's important to repent, because we're living in a time, matter of fact, get that in Isaiah, uh, I want to say it's 42, it says, uh, I have a long time to live my peace. I've been still going to bring myself to you, I'm going to get it right. Gone. So, all right, so the Lord been holding his peace this whole time. Right? He's been showing long suffering. Right. He's been being patient. Okay, I know they're going off and they're getting on my fucking nerves. Oh shit, I told them all the time. I'm slapping the ass up a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna slap them up here. They still can't get I'm gonna slap the ass up again. I said I'm gonna slap the ass up again. It's gonna come to a point where the Lord's just gonna lay it all out, man. <laughs> he gonna let all the judgments out on you niggas, man. Okay? The Lord get ready to whoop his badass kids, man. Right. Badass kids get ready to get y'all ass rocked, 
That's what Yahweh Shimon Shah is getting ready to do, man. Which is why why repentance is important, man. Yep. Because not only do we sin in this life, we just been sinning since since Adam. We've been going off. Right. We've been provoking the Lord to anger since Adam. It was so bad at one point, about four thousand, five thousand years ago, the Lord said everybody got to drown, man. Right. The animals got to drown. All your all your buildings got to go. I'm going to cover the high mountains with water. Everybody, man, when they shout, get ready to drown to death. Okay? They find fucking fossils of whales on top of mountains, man. Yep. Saltwater deposits in the Grand Canyon from the Atlantic Ocean. Why? Because the Lord fucked this shit up, man. Yep. The Lord gave the whole earth a fucking facelift, man. Pangea, man. Now you got continents separated from each other. You got uh, the, the bottom of the ocean look like somebody tore that shit up, man. What's gonna happen again? Okay, but this time you're gonna do it with fire, man. Yep. Okay? That's how long we went from looking the Lord to anger. So the Lord said, you know what? At this time, I'm just gonna lay all the anger out on your ass. Yeah. So if you wanna escape that, wouldn't it be wise to repent so you can miss out? Yep. <laughs> Give that scripture, brother. This is the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 42. I'm going to start at verse 13. It says, The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. Right, so the Lord said, the scripture said, The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. Mm. You see somebody who's a mighty man, they're, they're into war, they're into combat, they're into martial arts, they're into, you know, court, close quarter combat. They're not scary, they're not coming to, to fucking shy away and talk to you di diplomatically. Okay, he's coming back, back with wrath, man, right. with indignation. Okay, go ahead, bro. So we got Isaiah 42, verse 13. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. Uh -huh. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. Right, so he's going to come back as a man of war, man. He's coming back with an army. It tells you in Revelation he's coming back with an army, man. That's right. The armies of heaven follow him. Why the fuck he coming back with an army, man? To pass out dandelions, nigga? Nope. To play double dutch? <laughs> the fuck? Go ahead, bro. Says, he shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. He shall prevail against his enemies. So the Lord got I'm ops. Sure. He got ops. He's going to lay the motherfuckers down. Yep. Right. The Lord. Yep. Okay? He got enemies, man. People that be talking cash, money, shit. So he got to deal with their ass, man. Yep. Go ahead, bro. Verse 14. I have long time holding my peace. So he said, I had a long time holding my peace. So he was... He saw the wickedness, he was like, all right. He saw another wickedness, he was like, I'm He heard somebody talking to him, she said, well, I'm going to let that slide. I'm going to act like I ain't here. I'm going to act like I ain't here. I'm going to let that slide. Long time, man. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. It says Isaiah 42 and 14, I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and restrained and refrained myself. Right, so he had to hold himself back. He said, I have been still and refrained myself. Okay? He said his son down. And y'all spit on him. Y'all beat him up. Y'all put a crown of thorns on his head. Hung him up on a cross. Talked some old shit. He gave up the ghost. He came back alive. Y'all decided to go and change his image. Say he don't exist. Yeah. Okay? Tell people a, a false name. And a false narrative about him. What you think he gonna do now, man? What do you think he gonna do now, man? Mm. Go ahead, bro. Mm. Isaiah 42 and verse 14. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now, when I cry like a travailing woman, I will destroy and devour at once. Right, he's gonna destroy and devour at once, man. The day of the Lord is gonna be a very noisy day. That's right. Okay. All right, a very noisy day, man. It's going to say that uh, uh, the heaven shall roll together as a scroll and, and the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, man. All right, he's going to descend from uh, from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel, man. Right. The chariot's going to be making noise, you know? All right, the angels going to be making noise. They're going to be following and screaming. Okay, the earth's going to be reeling to as a uh, flow as a trumpet, man. Yeah. The chariot's going to be zapping motherfuckers. Yeah. Boom! Mm -hmm. You know? Letting forth lightning bolts and energy bolts all over the place, vaporizing entire cities, man. Hell yeah. Okay? You know? People gonna be screaming, Oh my god! Hey. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 
You know, wailing. Nasty. Come back, come back to kill people, man. Yep. You better repent. Yep. I got some. Go ahead, bro. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 10. But the Lord is the true power. He is the living power. An everlasting king. At his wrath, at his wrath, the earth shall tremble. And the nations shall not be able to abide his indignation. Right, they ain't going to be able to stand up and, and fortify themselves, you know. Now, of course, they're going to try to fight, but the court will be miss me out of these motherfuckers. Man. Yep. Okay? First round knockout, man. Right. It's going to be a beautiful thing to see, man. Yep. Okay? Flawless they victory. That's <laughs> right. Man. They go with fire, man. That's right. They're going to behold it, man. The downfall of the wicked, man. Let's go. All this fucking bullshit you people talking against the Lord, man. Yeah, that's right. Y'all better repent, man. You acting like you ain't got no sense, like God don't see your dark skeletons in your closet, man. Back to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 11. Thus shall ye say unto them, the gods that have not made the heavens and the earth, even day shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. 12, he hath made the earth by his power. He hath established the world by his wisdom and have stretched out the heavens by his discretion. Right, so, but then you're gonna have Esau tell you, oh no, he did it. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, about 15, 15 years ago, approximately. <laughs> it's, according, to, according to scientific research, that's what Right. They expect that there's a, there's a certain way this physical plane that we exist in operates, man. Yep. So who's the one that put these rules in order, man? That's who's that's the, the question. These elements in place? That's the question. That's the huh? trillion, billion, quadrillion dollar question. Who put these, all right, rules together in order? In order. That's why it's called a cosmos. Scientists and cosmologists. Yep. What does the word cosmos mean, man? Orderly arrangement. Act orderly harmonious arrangement. Who the fuck is the one who arranged it, man? The scriptures talk about the ordinances of heaven, man. Ordinances, man. Mm hmm Fuck. The most high is the one who did it, man. That's right. Right. That's right. Mm hmm Go ahead, bro. Back up. Because, uh, first Timothy chapter 6, verse 20, it says, O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings, in opposition of science and falsely so called, man. Because Esau, he pushes his false science in his head. That's why I should say, uh, we're blind, but those who are blind, because the God of this world have blinded them, man. Right. I mean, some of our people are, are atheists, man. They don't believe in the most high, but the Lord, he has things, even the earth, like just regular things on earth that he's in sense. Right, right, mm -hmm. exactly. Man. Right. Even that piece of shit, um, the one that created evolution. Charles Darwinism, right? He said on his deathbed there has to be a power, man. Right. And then he said, um, from a document that I read, that if a hundred years passes and there's no evolution, disregard, okay, uh, uh, right, his science, disregard it. Right. But these pieces of shit, people are still holding on to this shit. That's how you know they're rebellious, man. Right. Right. You know? Even that cocksucker Charles Darwin had to admit there's a power on his deathbed. Right. A lot of these, these scientists are fucking demons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. We actually go into a lot of these theories, theories, Big Bang theories, and evolution and shit like that. We actually go into the history of it. We'll find out that a lot of that stuff goes back to ancient pagan idolatry. Right? They're just trying to make it seem like they're just so enlightened and intellectual. You know what I'm saying? They just came up, or they were just so, you know, sound and researched and studied that they just came up with this epiphany by themselves. No, man, they went to a lot of this ancient Sumerian 
you know, ancient uh, Akkadian, Babylonian, ancient Greco-Roman, Egyptian philosophy, man. Yep. All right, and they just put a modern-day spin on that shit, right? Yep. Okay, that's all the fuck they did, man. That's why I still call the theory of evolution, man, the Big Bang Theory. It's a big old guess, okay? They don't say the, they don't say the law, the Big Bang Law, okay? The law of evolution, no, the Big Bang Theory. It's a big guess that allows them to do basically whatever the fuck they want to do, all right? Because they're disregarding the, the, the ways of a higher God, yeah. right? Of a higher power, the highest power in our Washington That's right. So they'd rather go about their their vain philosophies and guesses, okay? Because that gives them the liberty, according to their fullest understanding of what the fuck they want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, such as put people in slavery and genocide Native American people. Okay. Such as experiment on people by the thousands without letting them know because at the end of the day, you're just an animal. Yeah. And I'm the one, and in his mind, he's the superior. He's God in his own eyes. And you're just a peasant, peon, beast. Okay, but they're not going to tell you that in school. Right? Yeah. The scripture tell you how his right hand, speaking of Esau, is the right hand of falsehood, man. Right? They operate on the falsehood of the sea. Right. Uh, real quick, this is Job chapter 13 and verse 4. It says, But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. Right. And that's what you people going to come to realize as time uh, goes on, man, that this is this, he not the standard, man. He not the standard, man. Okay? You people can find out, man. You people that that that, 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 that source, you can find out that was in a, that was in a good source, man. Alright? It was in a good potion, man. We're gonna find out, man. When the time comes, you know, this man, this man is, 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 he's the harbinger of death, man. Everywhere he goes, man, wickedness follows. The, the border of wickedness. That's what he saw. That's right. Okay. Uh, this is what Isaiah chapter two and verse seventeen: In the loftiness of men shall be bowed down, and the haughtiness of men shall be made low. In the Lord, Yahweh Bashima Shah alone shall be exalted in that day. So the Heavenly Father, he's gonna get his glory, man. His son Yah. The Heavenly Father through his son Yahweh shall get that glory, man. All right? And he saw your pride and your lies and all that shit is gonna be brought down, man. Verse 18, in the idols shall in the idols he shall utterly abolish. Abolish. Verse because he's gonna be exalted in that day, man. Verse 19. And they shall go into their holes of the rocks and in the caves of the earth for the fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty when he arises to shake terribly the earth. Like you just wanted to earlier. And they're going to be running for the Lord hiding and stuff. Hey, because the Lord's about to shake this earth, man. It's going to be like a time different before. Right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So from 2nd Ezra chapter 16, uh, start at verse 1. It says, uh, Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Right, which the word woe, when you go into it, is an expression of lamentation, man. Okay? Alright, that's why usually when these people are in great pain or distress, what do they say? Whoa! <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> yep. That's so right. There's going to be a lot of lamentation, a lot of mourning here, yeah. man. A lot of people out here crying and suffering. Okay? All right. Going to these Babylon, Asia. That includes Russia, Iran. Okay? The state of Israel, Pakistan, Uzbekistan, Iran, you know, Afghanistan, China, India, Bangladesh. Europe. Europe. Okay? Because Europe is a part of Asia. Yep. That's right. Turkey. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. All those... Eastern nations, man. Yep. Okay, go ahead. It says, Go beyond to thee, Egypt and Syria. All right, so the Middle East get ready to get touched so far, Middle East, Syria. Okay, Iran, Jordan. Okay, Saudi Arabia. Okay, and Egypt, which is basically in Africa, man. All right. Verse 2 It says, Gird up yourselves with sackcloth of sack and hair. Slapia. It says, Gird up yourselves with cloths. And sack and hair, bewail your children and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. It says, Bewail your children yep. and be sorry. So the Lord don't touch the children too. Yep. 
the Lord going to drop people's children by the millions, old and young. Okay? It says, verse 3, a sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? Right, so war is coming. Who's going to be able to reverse it? Nobody. That's right. Fire is sent upon you, and who may quench it? Uh -huh. Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Many, so that's, may any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire in stubble when it hath begun to burn? May one turn again the, the arrow by the shot of a strong archer? The mighty Lord sendeth his, his plague, Salakia. The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues. And who is he that can drive them away? That's right. A fire shall go forth from his wrath. And who is he that may quench it? Does it say a fire shall go forth from him so that you can roast marshmallows? No. Nope. Nope. And then warn, you, warn yourselves around a campfire and tell them nice and roast hot dogs and tell stories? Nope. They say a fire shall go forth from his wrath. <laughs> Wrath. Okay, he's angry. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. It says, uh, verse ten. He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not be afraid? He said he gonna cast lightnings. <laughs> Bro, the chimney's gonna be striking people with lightning, man. Set pump. You know, people running. Ah. Yep. You know, you see a big old dark cloud of chariot in this wind. Lightning just zap him up and blow him. Blow him. Blow him. Why God? What's a good breath? Blow him. Not be afraid. Right, he shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid, man? So it's gonna be a very noisy day. People gonna be sick and shitting on themselves, man. Shaking in their boots, man. Go ahead, bro. Get them a The Lord papers. shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. Right. So if the Lord threaten you, your ass is grass. Yep. <laughs> yep. The earth quaking on the foundation thereof, the sea arising up with waves from the deep. And the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. Right, so the Lord will be coming back with such force that the earth is going to be shaken. Okay? It's going to be a global earthquake. That's right. Ooh, I got to get that scripture. And you're going to have fishes just jumping off the water. You know? You know when the water is choking, the fishes just start, you know, flopping around, beaching themselves. You know, birds just dropping out the sky, giving up the ghost. Animals on the run, attacking people at random. Yep. You know, volcanoes just erupting. Storms just manifesting. In a matter of minutes, just giant hurricanes, tidal waves, tornadoes. Wiping islands out, wiping borderline, you know, coastlines out. Tsunamis, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. It says, uh, what's going to cost it? Verse 16. Uh, chapter 16, verse 13. For strong is his right hand that bended the bow. Mm. Uh -huh. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Right, so the missiles, man. All right, because mm -hmm. the Lord going to have the missiles get shot off over here to Babylon the Great, and they're not going to miss their mark. Nope. Okay? Nuclear destruction of, of Miami, of New York, of D.C., of Chicago, entire regions of the country blown off the map until this place is utterly destroyed, man. That's right. By fire. Fire. Okay? It says, verse 14, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out until it consumes the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot in a mighty archer who turned it not backward, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Verse 17, it says, Woe is me, woe is me, 
who will deliver me in those days? Right, so this is the last ass whooping the planet Earth is going to receive. Right. Mm -hmm. It's going to be that ass whooping you remember, you know, when you got beat as a king? Your parents whooped your ass? They made you remember that ass whooping? Yep. That one you remember to attend for the rest of your life? <laughs> yep. Okay? That's how the Lord going to do it. He's going to get everybody at the same time, man. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. And priest at the back that. Uh, Isaiah chapter 24. I'm going to start at 19, but the point is at 20. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean, dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. Right, those are those missiles. Those are those nuclear missiles. All right, rocking. All right, mainly Babylon the Great and the statehood of the JJs. Those imposters, you know, those Israeli so-called. 20. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage. Here's the point. And the transgressed thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. That final ass whooping, as the blood bishop was saying. You see that? So yeah, there you go, man. That's that final ass whooping. That ass whooping that everyone's gonna remember. That's why, all right, it talks about uh, um, America being a, a, a monument, a place where not it won't be inhabited anymore. Babylon the Great. All right, so you remember the oh, if you. Or move wickedly, you're going to be destroyed like America, Babylon the Great. Okay? And America's going to be hit with nukes, so y'all people better get ready. It says, uh, verse 17, it kind of says, Woe is me, second Alice chapter 16, verse 17, Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? It says, The beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Remember, evil means bad time, man. Eh? And help. Right? It says, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for an amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. So you're going to have even two-thirds of our own people, these so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right, who are Israelites. Their blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Two-thirds of our own people are not even going to repent, so they're going to have to die to death, man. Right? Now, the scripture speaks about death by pain. You're going to have to be corrected, man, because you don't want to turn to the Lord. When we're out here, uh, 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 week in and week out, turn you to repent and turn back to the Lord, man, because these are the judgments that are coming, man, you know? You got to respect you got to respect. This is the Proverbs 29 and verse 1. He that being often reproved, pardon his neck, shall be suddenly... Watch out, brothers. And that without remedy. Right, so a, a, a person that's constantly, I like, pardon his neck after the Lord has uh, corrected him, telling him how to, how to walk, and he's going to be destroyed without remedy, man. The Lord just going to take him off the neck, man. Yeah, I got one. This book of Zephaniah, Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 14, it says the great day of the Lord is near, it is near in case and great. So the great day of the Lord is near, man. All right, it's not going to be a uh, uh, far off. We got Ezekiel 12, All right, the day of the Lord is, is uh, these signs. The Lord said, this generation shall not pass to all people feel, man. That's right. He's talking about people who may repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand at time like never before is coming on the earth. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, again, it's like... Is he killed 12? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because these people, they think, they think life is going to continue as it is. Nah, it's about to be a bad time out here. Yep. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 12, verse 22. Son of man, what is that father that he had in the land of Israel saying? The days are for long, and every vision failing. Yeah, so our people think the days are for long, and what we're saying is failing, man. Hey, what, what you talking about, Jacob Sharp? What you talking about, the MOT? What you talking about, shutdown? What you talking about, civil war? They put in their movies. I it's going to happen, bro. Nope. What, what, what are you talking about, World War III? World War III is happening right now. It's the beginning of it. Nope. Bring it out. Verse 23. 
Tanum, therefore, thus said the Lord, the Hawa, yeah, to tell our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, also the Israelite corners that scattered amongst the nations that go back to the 12 tribes of Quarantine and Ponce, all right, we got to tell you, thus said the Almighty Lord, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. Yeah, so the great day of the Lord is at, at hand, man. We, we, don't, we don't have that much time, man. That's why you got to repent and, and do the work, man. And also, the apostle the is telling us to be more diligent, man. Yep. Get diligent and make that call the election sure, because, hey, every man, go, you're going to get a reward according to your works, man. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, going down. Yep. Oh, the sons. I mean, I got it if you want me to continue reading it, brothers. Okay. Verse mm -hmm. 20. Verse 24. For there shall be no more in any vain vision or flattery divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord, I will speak. And the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. Yeah, so the Lord speaks. How, how do you speak? You hear the prophets, and they come to pass. Man. That's how the Lord put the curse on us, and they came to pass. We, the Lord said we were going to Egypt to get the ships. We was back on those uh, cargo slave ships. Man. The Lord said we're going to be at the bottom of the ground. People at the bottom of the society. Man. And they, man, the Lord said they came to pass. These prophets won't come to pass. Mm -hmm. like, you know, I just want to add real quick. Like our people, like they confuse the Lord. The Lord's uh, mercifulness for an extension to the wickedness. When they come to see judgment happen by the the eyes, they think that they have time to, you know, prevent wickedness, but that is being the Lord's compassion and mercy to our people. Right. To repent, to come back. Mm -hmm. uh, what you just said, our people uh, use this, this grace period at the time to be more wicked. The Lord told us not to do that. Right. Yep. Hey, uh, we got time for this, this grace period, this time of liberty, this is time for us to repay and come back to the Lord. Man. I got some. If you had, uh, Book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. And that's the thing. Our people are not focusing on the prophecies. All right? Because when you go into that word vision, it means the oracles, the prophecies. All right? So that's why they're so engulfed in their wickedness, all right? Because they can't see the prophecies coming to pass in their lifetime. That's why they're going on doing whatever the hell they want to do. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he, right? And when you go into the word law, in the Hebrew, Stavara, all right, which means instructions, all right? And when, where do we get our instructions from? The scriptures, all right? We get the understanding of, of, the, of the ways of the Lord via the Bible. So when you start seeing particular things happen on planet Earth, it will move you to be like, yo, I got to get right with the Lord. I got to follow his way. I don't want to get taken. All right. Because I'm seeing, all right, the Lord's will being done on planet Earth. But our people don't want to hearken on to his law, statutes, and commandments. They want to continue to stay in wickedness because nothing has been done to them directly in their face. You know, even when they are getting, even though this is how you know they're wicked. They're still at the bottom. They're still catching financial hell. All right. The police are still gunning them down like dogs. But they can't see that this is judgment from the Heavenly Father. So that's why they continue doing what they do. You know, they're not correlating it with the scriptures. They're not calling away that, hey, this is judgment from the Lord. But you got it. Yeah. Right. Nope. Mm-hmm. Uh, I started verse 13 upon the 16. It says, Submit, this is uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 13. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme or unto the governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers. So you got to realize that the Most High that set up these, these nations and set up these people over here. He's the one that do it. That's the one that's right. See, the, the reason why the Lord set these nations up, okay, over our people, all right, to instill what? 
discipline upon our people because our people were completely in wickedness. And when you go into the word discipline, man, it really is a form of punishment to correct you. And the thing is, our people, they, they're not seeing that the Lord is disciplining them by jacking them up. They just get worse and worse in their wickedness. All right, all right. So all right, Esau's doing this. Fine, I'm going to try a way to uh, supplant and navigate and do more wickedness. All right? That's why the, uh, our people don't keep getting fucked up, man. They're not seeing that the Lord is disciplining them by these nations, man. That's, a, that's the whole book of Judges. Yeah. Basically, we were sinning and the Lord sent different nations. All yeah. the nations out there. And they will repent, then he'll set up a judge, and then it will be that cycle all over. Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says, uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 13, Submit yourselves to every ordinance of mine for the Lord's sake, mm -hmm. whether it be to the king as supreme, or unto governors as unto them that are set by him. For the punishment of evildoers, right. and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of the Most High, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, that with well doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. This is the point. Verse 16. As free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, mm -hmm. but as but as the servants of the Most High. So he's serving the most high. We're not going to use this grace period to be more wicked. To be more wicked. Right? So that's good. Uh, that's Lucy's grace period to repent and come back to that horse. So we make him that evil day. Nope. I got Ezekiel 12. You want to continue? Um, All right. Ezekiel 12. Uh, chapter 12 verse 25 for I am the Lord I will speak and the word that's that I shall speak shall come to pass it shall be no more prolonged for in your days O rebellious house will I say the word and will perform it saith the Lord power Yahweh 26 again the word of the Lord came to me saying 27 son of man behold they of the house of Israel say the vision that he seeth is for many days to come and he prophesied of the times that are far off Life, so they continue doing wickedness, but this is what the Lord said. 28. Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the poor, just saith the Lord, Yahweh, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord, Yahweh. Yeah, so in your days, this, the Lord said what he spoke is going to be done, man. So when you in those concentration camps, all right, uh, uh, being forced to have that uh that arm of you're gonna have to make a conscious decision. All right, you gonna know that the Lord spoke of these things and this is happening in your lifetime. I have to back you up. This is our Second Peter chapter three, begin at verse two. It says that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts and saying, Where is the promise? That's, that's, a, lot of our, that's a lot of our people, man. Are they scoffing? You know, they come to this Bible and say, where, where's, where, where's the, where, When is the Lord's coming? Right, right. That's because, you know why? They're not watching the prophecies. All right? And they're not praying to the Lord. Right, right. Yep. Keep watch. Right. Yep. It says, uh, verse 4, and saying, I'm going to read verse 3 again. It says, Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. That's what the brother was going to. Uh, not too long ago, they, they, the people that they just be saying that, man, we've handled a long time ago. We've been here. But, hey, the Lord prophesied for over 120 years, man. And at some point, the rain came, man, and washed them all away. Yep. It happened. You know? Whether you believe it or not, 
because this truth was only for the elect. We're just telling our people, hey, if you don't repent, you're going to be the judge. That's right. Verse 17. 
They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh. Our people, they used to worship in the thrones, but now our people, they in these church houses. And the Lord said he doesn't want to take away from him. But what, what are you doing in the church houses? Lord, all the combinations. The Lord said he's going to sit by them for her. And the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, said the Lord. So a lot of people are going to get put to death just on their diet. Yep, that's right. Because why? Because they're defiling their temple. I got some, you know. Uh, Book of Malachi, chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, and that's the thing, these people that walk on planet Earth, they're proud. That's why they eat abominable food, because they're proud. Even the Lord told them not to eat that. They're proud, and then, and then they act like, all right, that they can't be told to change, man. Like, oh, you can't tell me nothing. I, I, I could do do as thou wilt, spirit. All right? For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly, that goes hand in hand, shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that I shall leave them neither root nor branch. Oh, I got that too. Everyone who says that, oh, if I eat shit with some barbecue pizza, you're going to burn in that fire. Because that's, that's the judgment that that's coming from. Americans are going to be burning. Those like they don't want to change. The sentence of people are going to take that and see it. Are you going to be destroyed? Because the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, and verse 4, it says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the sea, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the forehead of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Well, Jerusalem is a people who poison in place, so we're talking about the Israelites, the Israelites, man. Instead of word, that, that word is for God, meaning uh, exempt from judgment, man. Those who have this understanding, it started with the name, man. All right? It says, uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, to the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. That's yeah, so we got men that has that mark of this that sign of fire, man. For That's all right. The that be done in the midst of them, man. Right. We've got women just walking around in harness. You know, we see the men all the feminine, man. We see the, the, uh, the society just uh, all messed up, man. And we don't press. We're assigned to fire for the abominations that be done in the midst of them. It says, uh, verse 5, it says, Unto the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city, and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither of ye pity. So the Lord is going to send an angel, he's going to smite. He's going to smite a lot of these people, man. He's not going to have pity. Right? The angels, they love to do this. They love to do the Lord. 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 Verse 6, it says, slaughter up, it says, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. Little kids on the playground, kindergartners, first graders, Lord God, Lord God, because the Lord judges the spirit, man. Yep. And women. And you women, again, because of these women, this whole society is catered to the woman and women. The devils, all type of articles coming out, man. That's why the Lord's having the Spirit's great gift. They've been so long without the probability, man. They've been chopped up and their body is put in this area. Nope. It says, the majority of the population is moving anyway. So the majority of death is going to happen. Yep. It says, um, Right, because a lot of the men are going to die in the wars and the famine, you know? It says, uh, verse 6, I read it again. It says, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Yes, the Lord's going to have to be blank. 
right? That's going to be saved from these said perils, man. That's why you got to, we know this truth in your life. We know these scriptures. We know uh, if your life is a prophesy, you got to you gotta fulfill that lot, man. Or you go, you're not going to have that market position. Or you're going to be destroyed. Whatever your life feel help, fill that lot, man. Because you don't want to be caught in no, no judgment start now. Amen. It says, mm -hmm. and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began of the ancient men which were before the house. First Peter chapter 4, verse 17, it says, For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. Then the problem then is Yahweh. And if it first begin at us, what shall what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? Mm -hmm. Judgment gonna begin at those who know, know the Israelites, man. Yep. Right, that's been years so a wickedness, switching doctrines and shit like that. Yep. It's gonna be that you, man. That's why a lot of when you see a wave, it's gonna be like a wave of Israelites being destroyed. destroyed. So that was yep. that. Yeah. Uh, verse uh, 18, it says, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? The righteous gonna be scarcely saved. I think it's Revelation 11. I the Lord said, those missiles being shot out, the lake is going to be caught up, they're going to be delivered. So that's going to be like a, a, a scarce a deliverance, man. You know? It says, uh, verse 19, Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High commit the keeping of their souls to Him in well-doing as unto, as unto a faithful Creator. Yep. That's all right, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's not all about your timing, man. Yep. It's about the, what the Lord and what the Lord wants. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? That's why the, the scripture said to remember the creator in the days of thy youth. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. It's for the judge chapter 9, verse 4. I must work the works of him that sit me while it is while it is day. For the night cometh when no man can work, man. So you gotta do this truth while you have Liberty, like, like all hell is not breaking loose right now, so you got to do the work. That's how our Lord Yahweh tried to say, because you're going to be top, and you ain't going to be on the highways and byways, man. Yep. They're going to be looking for us, and hey, I'll, you want to say he's going to close our mouth, go over and be a part of that elect. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm saying the, the elect, when they hear these words, man, they're going to be moved by it, man. Right. It ain't going to stop till you have a shot pump. You know, you can't play with the Lord and put him on the back burner or try to finesse him. Bro, you know what it's talking about? It's saying fire for to come and burn up the place in which we live right now. Right? Yep. So we need to be saved from it. It's mm -hmm. very fucking urgent. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's very fucking urgent to get this truth. It's very fucking urgent to continue to be built up. You know? It's urgent. Look, you see the shit that's going on right now? You hear the bitch playing? The, yep. the names that we want to hear in the news, we're hearing the names. Iran, Israel. Yep. You know? Russia and the U.S. and all of them are going to be over there. But we hearing it. it. Ain't the fucking time to play, man. Yep. I got some. Uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 7. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved onto fire yep. against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. All right, and that's why, hey, like the blood brother said, all you hear now is wars and rumors war because it's all leading to nuclear war. Right. All right, and now all you hear now is the statehood of Israel right. and Iran. They're about to lock horn. Everyone's going to get drawn into World War III. All right, which is going to lead to nuclear war. So by you seeing that, you should be moved with fear like Noah was moved with fear, okay? Hearing the Lord tell him, hey, I'm going to flood this place. Just like we're moved with fear, we know the Lord's going to light this place up with fire. Uh, eight, but
But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day, all right? And that goes to show you that the Lord, okay, vengeance is in his heart, man, all right? We're in the third day, so that means the judgment is coming. Nine, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men could count slackness, but is long-suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That's what the Lord wants, man. He wants you to repent. He wants our people. You want this sign to repent, all right? He doesn't have pleasure to kill in his people, but he will if you don't obey him. All right? And that all is, that all that the word is meant for, this is the elect. You are going to hear the words the last time. Mm -hmm. And the elect are going to hear these words and they're going to take it fucking serious. Yeah. You know, tell you how shot comes. Mm -hmm. you know, like, like, uh, I got more your house shot when he told the disciples, follow me on the fishing men. Hey, hey, this is uh, crazy. Right. Right. Like, oh, let me go back home. Because some men made excuses. But the Lord, but the disciple, they, they the Lord. Yep. Right. I got the excuses right here if you want me to bring that out. Um, this is the book of Luke, chapter 9. I'm going to start at, um, I'm going to start at 56. For the Son of Man has not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went to another village, verse 57. And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest 58 and how which i said unto him foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests but the son of man have not where to lay his head mm -hmm. right 59 and he said unto another follow me but he said lord suffer me first to go and bury my father 60 yeah which i said unto him let the dead bury their dead but go thou and preach the kingdom of the most high see the excuses there's a lot of excuses, and you got, okay, those that know the truth, they fall out, okay, due to excuses, all right? 61, and another said also, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house, right, you know? Oh, I got to take care of my family, you know, I got to do this, my children, which we're not saying you're not supposed to be doing that, but where's your priority at? It's supposed to be, all right, on serving the Lord and pushing out his word. That's why the Lord, hey. And it's not that it's not that hard. Saturday we go out and do the bidding. You still got all a whole bunch of other days, all right, to take care of your family and be responsible. All right. Sixty-two. And Yahweh said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the most high. You got and and when the Lord starts judging even more severely, you're gonna have more people falling out. All right, because they couldn't take the heat, man. Because you know why? Like the uh, beloved uh, Ramak said. Only the ones that are going to repent are the elect. Right. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, real quick, all Revelation chapter 16, verse 7. And I heard another out of the altar saying, Even so, the Lord, Yahweh Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. And the fourth angel poured out his body upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. That's why it's so hot. Like in the earth with that fervent heat, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why you got droughts all over the world. Rivers dry, drying up, man. Okay, you got a lack of rainfall, wildfires, man. Okay? Alright, because this prophecy is coming to pass. They tell you that the sun got so clear, it's bright. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Prophecy of the Ukrainian river's dry. Right, it's dry cut. Right, it's, it's, they say it's so bad that uh, this, this heat is actually different uh, around the world. Yep. Uh, Quote unquote climate change. It's yeah, it's never. It's never. That's fine. That's the Lord's gonna kill me saw that. Yep. That's a bullshit. Yep. And men were scorched and men were scorched with great heat and blasting the name of the most high which hath power over these plagues, mm -hmm. and they repented not to give, to give him glory. Right. And part of that blasphemy, like, hey, not recognizing who's the, who is doing this. You know, saying it's climate change, some other, okay, scientific uh, $100 word, and it's BS, man. Right, right. Carbon, carbon yeah. emissions. Yeah. Carbon emissions down. Okay. Also, 
doing it. Right. 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 Well, well, you know, let's say, you know, you got your little harp technology. You know, you got your little weather manipulation. You want to bring out fine. But who gave you that technology? It was still the Heavenly Father. Dubai. Yeah. Cloud seeding, right? Yeah. They tried to cause rain, and now Dubai is fucking underwater. Yeah. Like fucking Atlantis. Yep. You know? See? Cloud seeding. You know, make the clouds rain. Mm -hmm. and now it's not fucking stopping. Right. And now they travel, and all that shit is fucked up, man. Yep. Right. You, know, you can't see the Lord in all of this. Right. The Lord ain't fucking with y'all, man. That's the Lord ain't playing with y'all. Carol was trying to drive away the planes. Right. And he, and he, he couldn't. And he was trying to mimic. Why would you try to mimic planes? Like, you know, his source was trying to mimic planes. You're making your own shit worse, man. Hey, man. Look, man. What you had? Uh, you bought you bought Harari. Yeah. You bought Harari bitch ass. Okay. He was like, oh well, we don't need uh, God. You know, there's a family we can just you know just extract the, the the water from the atmosphere, man. Look, man. They're not actually gonna work. The idols are not going to work, man. Because when, once the Lord send a judgment out, that's what's going to happen, man. Right. Okay? You can use all whatever fucking witchcraft you use. Okay? Whatever the judgment of the Lord is, that's what's going to stand. Right. The judgment is coming. Why? Because of the wickedness of the earth. He saw things that he can circumvent the judgments of the Halabashi and Shai for his wickedness by using technology. Right. That's, that's not how it's, that's not how it's going down, man. And he gonna hey, Lord gonna play this shit like he did ancient Egypt, man. Lord gonna play this shit, and men are gonna blast. They literally gonna they they just gonna be open with it. They gonna literally blast you in the name of the Lord, because it tells you in Isaiah 59 that they shall fear the name of the Lord from the from the west even to the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Lord gonna lift up a standard against them. The Lord is gonna have all type of freaking miracles, super tornadoes and shit. Fucking up these people's shit, and it's gonna get to a point where, yeah, you, you gonna understand, you Americans, you Babylonians, you heathens, you people are gonna know that the Lord is against you, just like he did in ancient Egypt, man. You know? Okay, this is uh, Isaiah 59, in verse 19, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. Mm -hmm. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. All right, so who is the enemy coming against as a flood to? Oh, I'm the saying, Israelites. The Israelites, right? Yeah, yeah. Why? Because they know that we're the Israelites. Right, and we come back to our power. Right. So, so we're trying to come off the sacrifice. Yep. Morning, even sacrifice that they always try to do. They know it's like they know what the fuck is up, man. They coming in as a flood against us. We ain't the ones who could who could do military strikes against them. No, we're just a we just the Israelites. But they already know that and they gonna come in and this this shit is gonna happen soon. Because we know prophecy about to pop off. Right. Look, Iran shooting missiles at Israel. All right, we know the ship gotta be speeding the fuck up. And we know persecution gotta be speeding the fuck up. This shit finna go down. And the Lord's finna show his hand and his might towards these fucking people, man. Right. You know? Uh, Revelation chapter 12 and verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. Went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which kept the commandments of the Most High and of the testimony of the Havashai Mashiach. Right, it ain't no coincidence, it ain't no, the dragon is wroth with the woman, man. That's Esau and his whole power structure. Yes. They finna come down against you, Jake, so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. That's why we telling y'all to, to get right, man. Right, right. Two thirds of you fuck ass, you ain't finna fucking get right. And you gon' and you gonna know that we was right. Yeah. Before you before you give up the fucking spirit. Yeah. You know? Y'all gonna die in the family. Y'all gonna die in these wars out here. Pessimists get your ass out, kill each other. Yep. All right, the animals will eat your ass up, but the ones you that survive are going to get barbecued by the missiles, man. Yep. By the chariots. Some of you going to get um, drafted with all your gang thugs, you know, fucking, 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 you know, Fight wars against the Russians and Iranians and gonna put holes in your motherfucking ass, man. Right. Make Swiss cheese out of you before the most high gross your ass. Right. The Lord got this mechanism going on here and pouring out the spirit to this the people, the rest of you people are as 
the Americans. So you, you, just, you ain't got the blood on your dope folks. But we tell you, this is what it says, the dragon was wrong for the woman. He saw his intentional about killing all of us. That's, that's the truth. That's, that's the truth we're trying to tell our people. Yeah, he yeah. saw us trying to kill you. It's in the Bible. It's happening in the daytime. He's always trying to kill you. It's in the history of America. Since the founding fucking fathers of America, he's trying to kill you. And we are in a time in which he's been trying to kill you since, <laughs> right. since forever, man. Yeah. This is the serpent. He was trying to kill, he was trying to get Adam and Eve cased up. And he, he basically did. He got them cased up. <laughs> I, 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 I came, I came, you know, and Cain and his descendants is going around slaughtering people. You know, and then and then Esau and Jacob, like he been doing this shit, man. The Eden was paradise. But why would you want to do that? Like, why would you want to do everything was great? What, what was your what's your problem? God This nigga done spread his wickedness out. He's, he still saying, you know what, fuck, let's make his guide stones. 500 million population. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much more now? Which is stupid because you know, as a king, you want your population to be right. That's how you're going to forge your kingdom, man. Population desolation. Man, you got to kill every fucking body because the world's like, nah, you know, this, this is not your shit. Now everybody wants to how much more you want to destroy you now knowing that you have a short time? Mm. You know, it's like that child where if you can't have it all, you're going to destroy it all. Right. You know? Yeah, somebody, what's the game? You put the table over. Right. That's the game. You might want to double a little child, man. At the restaurant, they can't have this. Now the whole restaurant got to hear they rap. Right. Their kids rap. <laughs> so you might fuck them. Screaming and yelling, running around the whole shit. That, that's him, man. Back in the book of Revelation, I'm going to jump up to verse 12, and it says, uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he know that, because he know it, that he had but a short time. Right, and that's talking about the so-called white man who was Esau Edom. Right. As the scriptures tell you, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it, that father. Esau has for a short time to rule, man. He the one that be ruling. And the Lord said his day won't come till that wicked be revealed. Right. Whose workers are after Satan, man. Right. Who set himself up as God. And who, the so-called white man did it. Who is that talking about, bro? That's talking about Esau, the so-called white man. He's the one that's being revealed and exposed to be this satanic bloodthirsty. Okay, this tyrannical motherfucking Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, the fucking Frankenstein monster right. motherfucker, man. Right. Okay? It, that's him, man. Okay? So that's how you know the boys get ready to come back and make a smackdown on this nigga, man. Right. Job chapter 14 and verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. God has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Right. And every man has a day that's determined, but we are at the end where, in which Israel is going to be saved and live immortally for right. eternity. But Esau, Edom's days are determined. He has a bound. And we're, the finish line is fucking right there, man. His shit is going down the fucking drain as we speak. Like the, the toilet, you already pushed the button on the toilet. You just waiting for that. The, the, the water going down, bro. You ain't coming out, you know? Yeah, you're not coming out, man. The plunger won't fucking come. You know, what's it called? The drain, the drain. Right. The drain, the drain. The drain, the drain. Yo, your ass going down, man. Your ass is scratched. You got a day, and the Lord has always determined it. Before America, before 1776, before the Declaration of Independence, it was always a day that America was going to go down. Yeah, right. The Lord said America was going to go down before America existed. Right. He just said, the prophecies that we read about Babylon's destruction were written over thousands of years ago. You right. know how fucking long 1,000 years is? Right. 
We're talking about 1,000 years, 2,000 years, 3,000 years past that the Lord said Babylon was going to be destroyed right. before this place even existed, man. Before the Mayflower, the Nina, the Peter, the Santa Maria, before those ships came over to America, the Lord already condemned this place, man. In, in the scriptures, it condemned it. This place is built up by blood, so yeah. by blood, it, 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 the land got to be cleansed, man. You know? Woe to the bloody city, which means destruction, destruction. You motherfuckers act like the Lord don't destroy shit. We finna show your ass now. I was watching a, a, a documentary, it's on Netflix. They act like God is supposed to be bad. It, it, it's called Testament of Moses. It just came out on Netflix. It was, you know, take the best and leave the rest. It's crypto fans the Lord is a jealous power. <laughs> they, they, they on the shit, on a, on a, on a documentary like, look, why would you do that to the Egyptians? Y'all supposed to be Bible experts. Because he knows You're supposed to be Bible experts. And you so conveniently skip over how the Lord before that flooded the whole earth. How he fucked up all of Sodom and, and Gomorrah. Burned the whole, the whole shit up. Right. That's what the Lord is about to do, man. The Lord judged the fucking wicked, man. It was always for this place to fucking be destroyed. You think the Lord is up there sitting, chilling, and saying, it's okay, y'all can have it? Right. So, so God was just supposed to not be done. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, so that means that we would have still been over there in Egypt to this day. Right. right. The fuck because he loved everybody, so right? Fuck right. Be <laughs> patient with the Egyptians, right? Right. Yeah, we <laughs> love the Egyptians, so you can love one another. Right. Yep. Fuck out of here. Them Egyptians was not fucking right, man. Those are some demonic ass, proud motherfucking, vain, stupid, bitch ass Hamites, man. Pharaoh said kill all the all the all the yeah. uh, the baby boys. Yeah, Pharaoh thought he was a man, man. He thought he was God on earth, man. Okay? Them, them demons were to were into having sex with animals, man. Conjuring demons. They was into sodomy, lesbianism, mad idolaters, witch, witches, warlocks. Proud. Proud as hell. You see the you had bro. The pharaohs, you think those fucking monuments they had in Egypt built, built, built themselves? We built them. We built them, but a lot of them shits over there, man. And even after we left, the pharaohs still had them people, and his own people in the subjection, man. You think? Yeah, man. Yeah. You thought, you thought those, all those nice, so-called beautiful monuments and pillars and temples built themselves? No, the, the pharaoh had his boot on these motherfuckers' people's head, man. Right. Taking up all type of taxes and resources to build all these vain temples to their fucking idols, man. Right. In a lot of cultures, the word tyrant goes back to Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And this this cracker, he saw you them put Egyptology on the fucking dollar bill. Right. The one dollar bill. The most common shit spread around. Right. You got uh, all type of uh, 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 Egyptian um, thing, you know, architecture fashioned after Egypt and DC, man. Yep. Okay. All right, you got the Washington Monument, you know, like a Brooks Mark always brings out. You had a lot of family problems that was into Freemasonry. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Egypt, oh, Egypt was not fucking cool. They was not good, a good people, right. man. Also, some wicked, demonic people, man. got the obvious towards Right. Right. Just like America is not a good place. If you look up the history of America and you say it's a good place, you're a devil. You're a demon and you need to be destroyed. If you can look at the way that America was built up and say that, God is okay with it, then God is not okay with you. Yeah. You ain't got no judgment. You ain't got no mercy in yourself. Right, says if any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Yep. Okay, so on uh, um, one level, you know, we read that and we like, okay, if you love the world, you don't love God. But really, if you don't love the world, you got to love the world. Right. Okay. Right, because the Lord makes us basically so we know what those things are us, man. Hey. It says, we know, we know uh, that we are of the Holy Spirit, and He has given it to us, man. So if you love this world, that means God don't love you, nigga. Lord gonna destroy your ass, man. That's it. Like Solomon Gomorrah, First John five and nineteen. We know that we are the Most High, and the whole world lies in wickedness. You got something about? Spirit change. You got it. This is the book of um, Revelation, chapter eighteen, in verse twenty-one. It says, "In a in a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, thus with violence shall that great sea Babylon.'" Be thrown down and shall found no more at all. Right. But that great mill, that great millstone is your house shot, and it and it begins with him consuming them by the word of his mouth, which is the prophecies coming out. But your house shot about to come. And what the world calls UFOs, going to flood the skies with them. The world gonna look at them, and the Lord gonna have laser beams coming out of them. 
pound shit with, with heavily fire. Heavily concentrated fire. You ain't never seen no fire like this. But also nuclear missiles coming down upon this shit. Pelting it from sea to fucking shine and sea. Law about to burn up Babylon and Great. Which is, hey, you read Revelation 18 from verse 1 on down. That is America. Yep. How? What? What else is they talking about? They talking about, uh, uh, you know, the Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> they talking about, they talking about Willie Walker's chocolate factory. Beautiful. Get the fuck out of here, man. It's talking about Babylon the Great, which is America, man. This shit ain't talking about Pallet Town, nigga, from Pokemon and some shit. It's talking about America, bro. <laughs> You know, you know when you're watching the movie, at the, at the end of the movie they be showing the, the, the credits and that chapter is like that. Revelation chapter 18. Right? That's going into the end of Babylon. Right. 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 Babylon, aka America. It, it, it's so clear. Yeah, obviously, bro. Obviously though, man. America checks off all the boxes yeah. of that wicked ass place that enslaved his people in the last days. Yeah. It's, it's, it's at Sodom. It's in Asia. Asia. Bro, in Revelation it says that they sold uh, slaves by ship. Yep. Okay? It, it says the ship masters was wow. wailing. Okay? It says slaves and souls of men by ship. When you read it, man, you got it right here. Go ahead, bro. Uh, it says, uh, you can start at verse uh, 10. Okay. This book of Revelation chapter 18 verse 10, it says, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, at last, at last, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Verse mm -hmm. 11, so this place will be destroyed in one hour. All these, all these centuries to build this place up, it's going to take one hour to destroy this Verse 11, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth of her, buyeth their merchandise in court. The merchandise of gold and silver, which they had a gold rush over here. That's right. It says silver uh, and precious stones and apparel and pearls, so like it, and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all of thine wood. And all these luxury items. Where are they all being brought to Babylon, man? Babylon is the chief destination of one earth. They do a lot of exports too, but a lot of things they have right to do. All made of vessels of ivory. All made of vessels of most precious wood, yeah. and of brass, and iron, and marble, and cinnamon, and odors, and ointments, and frankincense. Right, so minerals, and spices, and, and perfumes. You can literally look it up on Google. Top import of cinnamon. America. Like, different woods. Yeah. So if you don't want to, if you don't know, you don't want to know. Then fuck you then. Look at this shit up. America is on the ass. America. Out of all the other nations, America is the number one importer of all the other nations. Yes. You're the most consumer, the most consumerist nation of all the other nations. Right, that's why the people here are so uh, materialistic and they live a death a death in lifestyle, man. Even somebody who's homeless here in America can at least live uh eat three meals a day. But, right, because all the trash is thrown away. All they got to do is get in the trash. Right. And they can get a five star restaurant meal right there. Right. 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 You know what I'm saying? No, man. You know, they got microwaves. What the hell? What? We got microwaves. <laughs> What's that? Right. We can carry nothing in the world on their head. Right. They got villages and shit. They got to ration that shit out. <laughs> they, they live deliciously over in America. More than any other fucking place. Stop, stop playing. Stop playing. Right. That's why the person who shit with the because these words do cut, man. I keep who's going to upset. These people get cut. America is a wicked ass motherfucking place. If you repent, you're gonna burn with this shit. That's right. Uh, back at Revelation chapter 18, uh, continuing on, it says, in all manner, but it's verse 12, I'm gonna just get to the middle. It says, all manner of vessels of most precious wood, and of brass, and of iron, and marble, verse 13, and cinnamon, and odors, and ointments, and frankincense, 
and the wine and the oil and the fine flour. This, that's basic Publix. <laughs> Basically, that's Publix, Walmart, right. uh, you know, uh, the Burlington, the Tangos, the Burlington, the Burlington, the Burlington, the Burlington, the the Mall. Basically, Amazon. Right. shock throughout the nations like damn they you know right the things we used to trade with them is it's all gone right right chapter 2 verse 3 for the vision is set for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie thou it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry so the prophecy is not going to tarry man like Bishop Lord you going to see what's America go down this whole everything is going down man now I'm going to get shot he's going to set up the everlasting people what is that it was going until last week, that stone, that statue, it was going to break that, break that, uh, and, uh, and then what? He's going to set up an everlasting kingdom. He's never got to go down. He's going to strike at the field, and then the whole statue will be shot. All of them. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. Because Babylon is really what's born in the wind of the heathen and the earth, man. 
Fire on this shit, man. You know? And what would he if it be not already king? That's why you got wars and rumors of wars. That's why shit is popping off. That's why you got mountains exploding. Okay, okay, brothers. Earthquakes in fucking New York. Well, earthquakes in Miami. Earthquakes all over the fucking earth. In Europe. In Africa. Tsunamis. 
because the Lord is about to come and set this earth right. But you gotta whoop some ass while he's doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's righteousness, man. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, this is my uh, Malachi chapter four, verse one. It says, "Behold, they come that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubborn." And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Okay, so the Lord is going to the fire back to burn this up, this, this, this proud and wicked set up up, man. Yeah. All right, all the way down to the foundation. Okay? It says, But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise, the willing in his wings, and he shall go forth and grow up as cows in the stall, man. Okay, so the righteous are going to be delivered, man. Okay, they're going to receive that, that, that healing, man. They're going to be changed to, to, to those immortal, uh, righteous bodies, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? And the Lord is going to build us up. Okay? It says, And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we're going to, hey, man, that, let them get delivered. They're going to come down, uh, you know, doing a whole lot of straight. Smoke clear is this is gonna be the kingdom of Israel set up on the earth. Mm -hmm. That's what's coming. That's why it's, it's urgent. It's urgent. And you, the prophecies and the current events, everything's like, you know, it's urgent. Come serve the Lord. Like now, yesterday, really. Yeah. I got I got a precept. <clears throat> Book of Isaiah chapter nine, I'm gonna start at five. For every battle the warriors with confused noise and garments rolled in blood but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire all right this is the the end all be all the final judgment as we done by nuclear fire okay six for unto us a child is born unto us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulder let's talk about our lord and savior howard shy who the word only calls jesus and his name shall be called Mm -hmm. All right, who the Lord Henry calls Jesus Christ, but his name is Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. He's a so called black man. What is, what's going to happen to this current government? Mm -hmm. Is the current government just going to be here still? Nope. Is he going to be, you know, make, having diplomatic relations? Right. You know, a, a, a New Jerusalem embassy in New York? Nope. The fuck? Right. <laughs> no, man. Yeah, and just to add, you know, the word govern means control the mind. All right, the law is going to establish, okay, the law, statutes, and commandments to control the minds of the people on planet Earth. And if they want to go off, they're going to get their ass beat, man. All right, that's what's coming. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty Power, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Seven, of the increase of his government and peace. There shall be no end, no end. So there will not be no, okay, overtaking Gog and Magog come together and take down the kingdom, all right, of heaven, you know. No, it says no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it. See, order, cosmos, you got it. David had the heathen and slavery. Mm-hmm. King Solomon had the heathen and subjection. So what does that mean? Okay. You know, hey, Psalm chapter 2 says, I will give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, man, and the uttermost parts for thy possession. Thou shalt take them and break them to the bottom line. Thou shalt back in pieces as a potter's vessel, man. Right, That's right. right. Mm -hmm. And upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice. From henceforth, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts, meaning the Lord of armies, will perform this so it's going to happen all right that's why people need to repent because the lord's going to bring his government all right where there where true righteous and justice is performed the lord is the zeal of the lord mm -hmm. of shall perform the mm -hmm. lord is coming with zeal right. and angry like like a woman in travail is coming he's his own holding his peace he's gonna let it out on y'all ass man mm -hmm. you know this is earth man you motherfuckers been showing y'all ass the Lord's gonna come and set up the kingdom. It's gonna be a big fucking show, man. Shoot. Yeah. And it begins with him putting his prophets out here to let y'all know. Mm -hmm. But it's about to fucking go down. Right. I'm telling y'all, bro. Yeah. Big plagues. When you go into that word zeal, it means ordor zeal, jealousy. Yup. Yup. Yep. 
and the Lord is jealous, okay? He's highly jealous of his of what he created and what people are doing on the earth. Right. Yep. You know, it's like, it's like uh, you know, a, a man has a woman, he sees a woman dallying with another nigga, frolicking and shit. Yep. You know? Or you got some children, you tell them to do one thing and they're going to listen to their friends at school and do something else. Yep. Oh. Oh. Well, how do you think the parent or the, or the husband going to feel, man? He going to get down and busy, man. You say jealousy is the rage of a man, man. We get our two hours. Oh, you're, you're, you're mm -hmm. a woman crying out. Somebody trying to fuck with you. Mm -hmm. Somebody trying to fuck with your kids. Yeah. Yep. You know? Yep. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, bring out your final precepts. Mm -hmm. right, now, let's, let's, let's go into the brother speaking about Yahweh's government, man. How he's, how he's going to set up that government, man. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 24. It says, Then cometh the end, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to the Most High, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. Because even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. Like, like, like the bishop was saying, man, like, you know, I ain't never to talk with these nations. You right? never subjugate nations. It says, for he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy shall be, like is it, the last enemy that he shall be, shall be destroyed is death. For he has put all things under his feet. When he shall, when he said all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is accepted, which did put all things under him. When all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him, that Yahweh may be all in all. Right. Well, Yahweh shall come in man, but the subject of nations, man. He's not coming to talk with nations, right? Yeah. yeah. We're gonna get to all in all. Yahweh already died and rose from the dead. He already sit on the right hand side of the heavenly Father with a, with a body be in that realm and come to this realm. We're gonna make all in all by putting the earth back under His rule, manifesting that. Ain't gonna be no fucking idols. Ain't gonna be no fucking Edomites walking around. You know what you mean? Brothers got the script like, you see the Edomites walking around. You're like, I'm sick and tired of these motherfuckers walking around like shit. All good. You know? Yep. Lord finna come set it the right. Yep. And everybody gonna know the Lord and his son and the kingdom to come. That's the right way. Shouldn't everybody know who God is? Yes. You know, who the Lord's people is. The Lord finna manifest it and set it the right when he's coming to live the kingdom up and then the gonna come down. Yep. Yep. Real quick, Ruth chapter 4, verse uh, 22. For my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you and joy is come unto me from the Holy One because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting our Savior. Jot down on verse 27. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the Most High, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. For as, for as, for as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. And that is the message at the end of the day, man. Come back to the Lord, repent, because we got an everlasting kingdom that's awaiting, man. All right, these are the heathens are going to be placed in subjection, and we're going to be ruling everlasting, man. And that's the beauty of it. That's the promise. Yep. Okay, and that's what we're fighting for. So keep moving forward, fighting. Not even. So, okay, so with that, you know, okay, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, 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 Shai,